You finish them off. Could it be the effects of that painkiller? Could it be towards the ending of the season one? You guys remember when he decided to leave that area, right? And go somewhere else. Maybe he didn't show up in time to visit Pops while he was sick. And when he died, that was when he showed up all beat up and stuff. And Sachio blamed him that he's the reason why Pops died. If that's what it is, then why should he be blamed for it? And you can also sense the old school in that intro, that last part, you know, that 1990s or 1980s kind of intros.
I said it. Oh, that pink is. So that means when you consume a lot of those painkillers, it becomes a drug in of itself. You become addicted to it, right? So he's going to have to fight off all that drugs out of his system. It's almost like being an addict. You rest assured know that this punk ass is going to try every means possible to try and sabotage these guys from winning. Yeah. Mm. There we go. Hmm. The other guy does pack a wallet. You can see the effects coming out of his gear. He's going with the uh, normal plan. Wait for him to exhaust. So wait for him to exhaust himself. See an opening. So so Ooh. So Knock them the f out. He knocked him the f out.
See, that little boy is also going through his own problems right now because he's doing nothing but attacking where he lives. Mm-hmm. What's the name of that bird, that particular bird, even on the poster itself, there's a particular bird uh, that they're featuring. If you know the name, feel free to leave it on the comment box. Wow. It's that fragile old punk ass that did this. You get to be that punk ass little boy that did this. No, don't take it.
Water is working again. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, he's going to shave. Mm. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he's getting his ass handed to him. Mmm, it's a long shot. All right, let's see him apply it. Probably that punk won't see it coming. So it's a fake. So he's acting now. He's acting now, giving this punk confidence. He's going to... He's going to be overconfident now. Watch. Mm-hmm. He can't sleep. Ah. That dropped him. That dropped him. And the old Giza is not happy about this. I wonder what he's going to try to do next. You see? Someone is going to catch them. Of course, it's one of them. That's his home.
You guys better better go out there. Whoa. Oh, man. Chief didn't think of what he's going to do. He just acted right away. Poured the rest of that water on himself. And head out. Or head in there to save the people in there. This is no good. That boy needs to stop or rat those gang out. You know, because he is caught in the middle. They give him money, they pay him, they tell him what to do, and he goes and does it. But now they're... <laughs> you see, that's one thing, you know, being in such a gang or being with crewless, crew like that. Now that they are attacking his home, now he doesn't like it. But if they were attacking somebody else's home, beating up on somebody else's home, destroying somebody else's home, he wouldn't have a problem with that. But uh, he needs to stop this. I wonder how he's going to feel when he sees if Chief dies or hopefully he doesn't die or if people that were in there died, you know, all because of greed and foolishness. All right. The good thing is Joe has now found a way to get out of that predicament he got himself into, inside himself. That turmoil within him has been distinguished. And uh, he's now looking inward and looking forward to the future. You know, he has stopped using those painkillers and I believe he has found peace within himself. He has made peace with the old geezer's spirit, with pop spirit. Now he can be able to move on and live his life without not getting doubts upon doubts upon doubts upon doubts and punishing himself by <laughs> just eating painkillers all the time. So, but with this accident, hopefully Chief does not die or, and hopefully the people that are sleeping in there do not die because stuff like that can easily uh, drive someone back to the hole they are trying to crawl out of. Stuff like that can drive someone back, uh, the back to the tall moral that they are trying to cr uh, climb out of, you know? So let me know what y'all think. I believe that Joe uh, being on the other side of the situation a little bit, being the coach, it is uh, very refreshing, you know, showing Chief what to do, how to dodge, how to, you know, wait for his moment, how to, and he even helped remind Chief his own uh, Chief's uh, special moves and attacks and tricks. On that note, stay safe. And keep on keeping on. <laughs>